Scott set up a volleyball net in his backyard. One of the poles, which forms a right angle with the ground, is seven feet high. To secure the pole, he attached a rope from the top of the pole to a stake three feet from the bottom of the pole. To the nearest tenth of a foot, find the length of the rope. Okay, so let's go ahead and reread and draw a little picture. I always find that that helps me when I can see what we're actually doing here. So what it says is that one of the poles which forms a right angle with the ground is seven feet high. So let's go ahead and draw the ground here. We know that this pole is forms a right angle and it's seven feet high. So that's what the first part looks like. To secure the pole, he attaches a rope from the top of the pole to a stake three feet from the bottom of the pole. So let's go three feet from the bottom of the pole. There's our stake, and then we have a rope that's attached from the top of the pole down to the stake. And here we have a triangle. Now what we have here is a right triangle, and whenever we're trying to solve in a right triangle, we use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that is the Pythagorean theorem. This was three feet from the pole to the stake, and what we're trying to solve for is the length of the rope, which we are going to call c here. Now remember, c is the hypotenuse, and the reason we know it's the hypotenuse is because it's always the side of the triangle that's across from the right angle. And C is the hypotenuse in this part of the equation. The two legs, 7 and 3, it doesn't matter at all which one we use for A or B. Those are interchangeable. So let's go ahead and plug. 7 squared plus 3 squared equals C squared. We're solving for C, the length of the rope. So we have 49 plus 9 equals c squared. 49 plus 9 is 58 equals c squared. Remember that the way we get rid of a squared in any equation, because we are solving just for c, not c squared, is that we square root, and the square root of c squared is c, but whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So c equals the square root of 58. Now let's just think about this for a little bit. The square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 64 is 8. Our answer is the square root of 58, right here in between. So we know that our answer is going to fall somewhere between 7 and 8, just when we give it a look. When we take it to a calculator, we get c equals 7.6158, and that goes on for a good good long while there with some more numbers. But it asks us to round, the question asked us to round to the nearest tenth of a foot. So we have c equals 7.6. One does not make it round up, so it stays 7.6. And that is our answer. The length of the rope is 7.6 feet.